Question three is, how much do extracurricular activities really appeal to colleges when applying? And this question is by our Julia Macias underscore Tem. So thank you for your question. I apologize for that uh, name. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, so I think extracurricular activities are super important when it comes to applying to colleges. I think you need a good balance between good grades and something else you're interested to show them that you're passionate and dedicated to something else. Um, I was involved with a lot of um, volunteer opportunities when I was in high school and I did do sports for the first half of high school but then I kind of switched over to volunteering my last two and I kind of spread it out throughout the year so I was in like a few different clubs as well as went on a few like mission trips. Um, so that was good because I was able to add like a variety of different volunteer opportunities to my resume so they could really see that that was something I was really passionate about. But I do have a few friends who didn't really get involved in high school and they actually went to an interview for college and you know they had great grades, they were in all the AP classes, but at the end of the interview the teacher, or the, not the teacher, the interviewer asked, um, what are you passionate about? And School. Yeah. <laughs> my AP classes. Like, she, she said that was the hardest question they asked her. Cause she was like, like, school, but it didn't seem like a relevant answer to that. They wanted something else. Um, she did get into that school, but she kind of got more involved when she got to college because she realized she didn't get involved in high school. So I think, you know, even just to, like, keep yourself sane in high school. Yeah. Like, you don't want to just focus on grades and passing classes and getting into those AP classes. You want something else that you're passionate about. And I loved volunteering, and I brought that to college. Um, and I think that's another thing is colleges want to see what you do in high school so that they know you're going to be involved when you get to college. Yeah. Like, it's going to be great if you come in and do really well in all your classes in colleges, but there are so many clubs and um, activities in college for you to get involved in, and they would love to see you guys do that and know that you'd be dedicated to that club. Yeah, I think uh, two uh, main points I want to bring up is one, we talked last time on our podcast about majors and how we came to the conclusion that most of the time your major is going to be influenced by your interests. So if you're interested in doing something, then get into it early and do an extracurricular with it. So not only are you already gaining access to what you would like to pursue as a major, but the college is going to see that and be like, oh, this guy really, or girl, is showing that they're yeah, <laughs> is showing that they really in, interested in whatever this, this program is. This is a great fit. We should put them in here. And you might get in over the person that has the mm -hmm. AP scores that are through the roof and hasn't shown any passion for their intended major or whatever uh, program that you're specific about going to. And then secondly, uh, I think that it's important just to have those because um, <laughs> going out and hanging out with somebody that's so focused on school is very bizarre. Uh, <laughs> growing up and going to a private high school, I went to a public high school for my first eight years of schooling, and so I was all the way up through middle school, grade school. And then I transitioned into a private high school where everything was a lot more competitive and everybody was a lot more buttoned up and I did not fit that mold so well so it's very bizarre when you try to go out somewhere with somebody and you're trying to figure out like hey like what's going on it's, it's similar to in work life when mm. you go out and people just want to talk about work and you're like <laughs> come on man like, we just left that let's, place yeah, <laughs> let's, 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 not, let's not talk about it. let's talk about interests outside of yeah. work outside mm -hmm. of school what what are you into and then that's where you really meet people that you truly jive with and, and work well with makes you an um, interesting person right? so <laughs> yeah it, uh, and for colleges we'll like, like I said it, it helps yeah. them connect with you because they're like oh this is something that they're interested in so do yourself a favor and uh just jump into whatever interests you i think that's that's a huge thing because it's going to benefit you in so many different facets of your life mm -hmm. yeah. i think going back to your first point for a second um finding something you're interested in kind of helps like when i was volunteering it was something i was so passionate about and i think that's kind of like how i got connected with public relations because i loved being with people and communicating in that way and so you know in a way my passion for volunteering kind of reflected over to my major. So that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs>
Yeah, I know colleges and universities, they look for like the well-rounded student that they want to bring into their mm -hmm. um, university. They're not looking for like cut and dry textbook, like straight A student, you know, but kind of bland. They want to see like what you can bring to the university and like how you can leave your print there. And they're all about, especially like once you graduate, like all about their alums and they just want to like make sure that they're like people who are looking into their college can see how great it can be for everyone across all um across the board basically i'm um, going off the well-rounded student thing that doesn't mean you should go out and like join 30 different clubs to be that well-rounded student while getting straight a's um join the clubs that interest you though yeah. um but also make sure it's varied interests so um we had a piece where um an admission counselor was talking about how oh there was a student who was on the soccer team and they wrote about soccer in their extracurriculars and they wrote about soccer here and soccer here and soccer here and guess what their admission essay was about soccer so it was like one static thing and people think that that's you know very important but also varying those interests you're not one specific thing you're not just academics you're not just soccer or your one specific extracurricular you're a person made of different interests so explore those different interests don't overwhelm yourself so for me in high school i joined a couple different clubs the only one that really stuck was the ballroom dance team which i helped save yeah. um like it was a, it was a club when i was in eighth grade and then uh i we didn't exist when I was in ninth grade. I went to the teacher. I was like, I, I feel like we need to bring this back because it was a ton of fun. And then we ended, I ended up bringing it to a competition. And those are things that I could bring up in like college interviews and things like that. But it's different parts of the same whole. Uh, I also ended up volunteering with different clubs for different events, being like, oh, we'll do a, a ballroom dance class for this thing. And we'll do one for this. And just kind of explore your different interests. Don't just Don't just think about one thing, one goal. Like, if you want to major in science, join the robotics club. But if you also really yeah. like acting, <laughs> but if you really like acting too, jump on the improv troupe as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that you have these different interests that you can, A, find new people to get along with, B, have something interesting to talk about with colleges. And like Tyler said, just have something interesting to talk about outside of like, I learned this really cool thing in science. And then I went to robotics club and used that same thing and just explore yourself explore your other interests as well so quick question before i jump to my point what's the number one dance that you like for ballroom dancing cha-cha um, i was hoping you're gonna say <laughs> that oh my gosh do you know cha-cha not really oh. cha -cha slide. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a fun fact <laughs> that's a mambo really oh, yeah wow. fun facts that aren't that fun <laughs> i think that's pretty interesting that's yeah. so cool wow yeah and mambo uh italiano is a cha cha. What about the fox draw? Is that that's a fun oh, one? Yeah, yeah. that's you, the only one I know. You know that one? <laughs> well, I used to. I don't think I can do it now. But, yeah, I used Sounds to like one. we're gonna have some college express dance classes now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of like a clever term for that, like college crushing the floor, but that doesn't work. So <laughs> just erase this. Um, <laughs> but uh, my my main point I did want to bring up though is it, the specifically uh, they ask uh, how much do extracurricular activities really appeal to colleges? when apply and I would say don't worry if you don't have time and you have a part-time job uh, your part-time job is also going to give you a bunch of experience and show that the to the college that you're truly committed into something and providing you know some sense of revenue mm -hmm. and, and moving forward uh, when I was in school I in high school I joined very early at 16 and I had a paper out before that uh, so that took up a lot of my time having a part-time job, but at the same time, you're able to work with your part-time job to get revenue in and then also do some of the activities that you want. However, I know that the, not for everybody is true. Uh, if you need the money, um, it, work and get the money, and then you can bring up your experiences in the part-time job as well. So when the admissions counselor comes around and you have to write your essay to get into college, you might not be able to write about an extracurricular that is something that you're passionate about but you can talk about your job and what different skills the job has helped you develop and work towards that and that's also going to be important as, to them as well it's just as important if not mm -hmm. were you passionate about your job nice i wasn't thing. passionate about my job um what was your job so i all right i started <laughs> as you don't have no it's great i'll, I'll tell you it's all secret. about discount madness <laughs> and mr arthur he's the uh, still the owner over there but uh I started off, uh, like I said, paper route delivery when I was like 14, mm -hmm. which was great. Um, 
it's easy enough to do. Just do you ever hit anyone around. with paper? No, at what random right mailbox? Oh, I guess you, it's you not didn't like throw a, it? no, not, a uh, <laughs> that's place it. did not happen uh, ever. But uh, I did that for a long time. Uh, I turned 16. My friend Gillis, shout out to Gillis, uh, got me a job over at Discount Madness. It's basically like a BJ's or a Sam's, it's like a giant warehouse, uh -huh. smaller scale. We had a greenhouse, best position to work in. <laughs> uh, and I started there, like I said, 16, worked there until I turned 18. At 18, a assistant manager position opened up. I applied for it, became the youngest assistant manager there. Ooh. And then I kept the, <laughs> uh, and I kept that position all throughout. Would I say I was passionate about my job? No. Uh, was I dedicated? Yes. Uh, was I learning skills while I was there? Definitely yes, uh, especially when it comes to communicating with people. Customer service was a huge thing. Uh, even working out in the greenhouse, you don't expect it to be a thing, but a lot of people would come up, ask questions about the flowers, and what's the difference between a perennial and annual? What's the difference between you know the, any of those, um, whatever we had out there at the time, geraniums versus... Yeah, I don't want to get into <laughs> I don't even know what these are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, sun and shade, where do I put it, all that good stuff. So there are skills that you learn that you wouldn't expect to learn by getting a job like that. Uh, I would never expect to know as much about flowers that I do now. Uh, I would have not expected to, well, maybe gain the skills of community with people that you don't know I uh, brought up in the last podcast too that Emily always jokes when we go out and we're with a group of people and we know one person there we don't really know everybody else at the table I just go around and start talking and she's like thank you like, I don't know how to do that um, so that's always a fun thing that also brings back to the point of having a variety of interests so yep. if you start talking to somebody they don't like that okay let's get to something else and <laughs> keep moving uh, so it's not yeah. a big deal um, yeah I'm glad you brought up jobs jobs are extracurriculars Mm -hmm. Um, because I, I, like I said, I, I joined a couple of different clubs, but they never really stayed, um, except for ballroom dance because I made the schedule for ballroom dance. So I was the president of the club and I said, all right, we need to meet this day and this day. Oh, my work schedule conflicts on that day. We're going to change it. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, work is, work is extracurricular. It's outside of your curriculum. <laughs> and you are continuing to learn things, and that's stuff, that you can, yeah. <laughs> that's stuff you can bring forward. And, you know, if they're like, oh, you didn't join too many clubs, why? If, you know, they're asking in a college interview, they say, why, why didn't you join so many clubs? You only have two listed here. You can say, well, look at this job experience. I worked at three different places. I was the youngest assistant manager. Um, I, did, I learned this and I learned that. Um, and those actually, like Tyler was saying, jobs can really help you find, learn new things, um, and become yourself. So I was very shy. Surprising, I know. Surprising. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I was very shy, would not talk to people. And then one summer I got a job, I got an internship through the city of Boston with um, the Freedom Trail Foundation, shout out to them. Mm -hmm. And I had to go out and I had to dress up in costume and interact with random strangers and convince them to buy a tour from one of my mm -hmm. colleagues. And it was the most frightening thing ever, but I loved it. Mm -hmm. And it, it taught me how to interact with people. And I brought that up in a college interview at one point. They were like, oh, you know, what did you learn from this experience? I said, I learned how to interact with people from all over the world. And not, not many jobs teach you how to do that. I mean, um, so explore your interests in that way too. Finding work that you're interested in because it can lead, like, if you... It can also teach you that you hate that job. Yeah. And that's something you don't want to pursue as well. So, yeah. I mean... <laughs> no, for real. That's, that's legit. I don't, I don't want to work people. retail ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the job that most people learn that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. The most people go, oh, I'll, I'll turn a retail job. No, never again. I'll never help that. Every uh, adult that was above me hated their job. And one of my first weekends, loved this lady. It's one of my favorite people ever. <laughs> I ran into her very randomly on occasion. And I saw her maybe about a year ago. But... Um, we were opening the store on a Sunday. Sundays we open at 10, it's a little bit later, you normally open up at eight. And we close early, we close at five. So 10 o'clock, get in, and there's already cars lined up to get into the store. First day I ever meet her, she's like, these people, and then goes off on a tangent, I'm not gonna swear, about <laughs> how these people are the worst, blah, 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 and then goes up to it, lights up a cigarette, opens the door. <laughs> 
I like you, uh, but it taught me that I don't want to uh, be that uh, yeah. that person when I grow up. Also, don't be the person that's right there and right when they open. Yes. <laughs> yeah, don't be that person. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I had to return and things to do and... Like, was, just, just, no, just don't be rude about anymore. it. I sat in my car though because uh, I felt yeah. really awkward that yeah. I beat the employees there. So yeah. I've done that before. Yeah. Where I've sat in that car and went in until like nine oh one and walked like, in okay, and said, "Hi, way. I'm. I have to be somewhere at this time. I need to get this done." And they're always very understanding. Yeah. They're not outwardly rude, but I try to be nice. Be like, "I'm so I sorry. Know. I know you just opened. Your computer hasn't even warmed up yet." <laughs> yeah, I think opening is a little bit easier too. Uh, if you have to do it, do it open. And closing is the worst. <laughs> Everybody's done with the day. They just want to get out of yeah. it. And people are still in you the store. You got that one shopper. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't know what I need, but I, I need something. I still remember pound nine six intercom turns on. The uh, attention discount menu shopper. <laughs> <laughs> You're staring right at him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, jobs are important too, so. Yep. Yeah. Bottom line is um, universities want to see you kind of jump into things outside of school not just your what is it eight to two per se and then you're home playing video games the rest of the day they kind of just want to see you get involved in the community network yourself kind of you know go through some experiences and like how can you take that and learn from it and grow from it and then apply it to yourself in college and um sorry just to go back to the, the do how much do they actually appeal they appeal a lot when you're doing well so if you have like a's and b's maybe ac here and there then they they really support your application if you have d's and c's and maybe an f here or there and your f application is full of extracurriculars that's not really going to impress them much um just so make sure that there's a balance don't focus all your attention on the extracurriculars don't focus all your attention on your school because there is there's room for a healthy balance and life is more than school but life is also partially school mm -hmm.